this switch, what it's doing is allowing these two pickups in the middle, middle position only to become in series. So what that means is when you want these two pickups in parallel, they're not like a humbucker. So what I want to do is hook up the multimeter and just show you what's happening with the switch. So first we're going to start with the bridge. The bridge is reading at 9.42K and the neck at 10.54. So the neck's actually a little hotter than the bridge, which is an interesting, we'll check that out in the sounds. But when you go in the middle, look how it drops by almost half at 5.08K. These are in parallel. So the sound tends to be a little thinner and brighter and you definitely notice a volume drop. Now when I engage the S1 switch, notice now they're in series. So they're just like a humbucker, one after another. They are stronger, 19.15K. So they're going to sound bigger than either individual pickup. And I'll demonstrate the difference in the sound samples. I love running my Telecaster in series or parallel. I love the idea of getting that bigger, beefier sound. And it's been known throughout the years that you just do that with a four-way switch that could be added easily. Now here's an entire Emerson pre-wired kit. This is ready to drop in. And this would include your treble bleed, a Emerson capacitor, and of course an output jack. It's all drop in ready into your Telecaster if you want to do that. However, that's $109. For $26, you can buy the Fender four-way switch for your Telecaster and a treble bleed and just wire it up yourself. And I'll put a link to the wiring diagram in the description of this video. And you can just wire this up yourself using exactly what you have. You don't need special pickups, special pots, nothing. You can do everything you're gonna hear this guitar do with just basically $27. In the middle position in the, uh, in the uh, series, that makes up for it hugely. Versus the standard parallel. Both sound great. Until the next time, know your gear.